what's going on everyone thank you so much for checking out this 2023 audi q7 prestige 55 tfsi from tj chapman auto so let's have a brand new title everything has been repaired back to factory settings and standards it will also be utah safety inspected emissioned along with a 150 point in-house inspection completed on it um overall cannot find any demarcations on the body and paint wheels and tires look really good it is a quattro all-wheel drive system uh, this is the Q7 to get for sure. It does have the LED accented headlights and taillights, parking sensors throughout. Do you have your trailer hook up there, the receiver. Gorgeous 22 inch wheels. Do you have your panoramic sunroof up there? Let's go and hop in it. Kind of touch base on a little bit of the uh, other features on the cinematic view, but let's dive a little bit deeper here. You have power windows, mirrors, and door locks, power folding mirrors, heated mirrors, automatic lift gate for your trunk, two person seat memory, nice wood green finish right there. You have, of course, your power seats, automatic headlights, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel as well. 1,888 miles at the time of this video. We try to put some miles on each one of our cars just in case. Uh, we find something we'll be able to find them when we drive them make sure everything's good uh, shown here you have a plethora of options we'll kind of go through left to right um, you do have your lane keep assist here your adaptive cruise assist with uh, lane guidance adaptive cruise control stock right here you of course have your different views on your steering wheel control there you can toggle uh, navigation, last destination, favorites, map orientation, automatic zoom. You can hit this view button here to change the different views. <coughs> Excuse me. You can kind of toggle through depending on whatever view that you'd like to look at there. Over here on the other side, you do have your voice recognition, your radio controls here. And you hit your start, so kind of a multi-function button there. And then you have your phone button, of course. And here you do have your paddle shifters, rain sensing, windshield wipers of course you have your rear wiper control as well you do have your dual screen audi infotainment system which is really nice very easy to use um, this is a quad zone hvac system so even in the uh, the rear uh, the second row you have each individual controls there as well we'll get that in a second um, on the main screen here you do have radio media phone navigation settings um, we'll kind of scroll through there's so many options here but they make it very easy to use um, see this vehicle control you can hit light and visibility you can go interior lighting and they have a bunch of different light controls that you can do if you're anything like me i'm a sucker for lights and things like that you can make them brighter you can turn them off like I said, you can kind of search through your different controls there. You can do individual, of course. <coughs> it's nice, too, because they have different driving options as well. If, if two people are driving the car, uh, you can choose which user you're doing as well. Um, you can entry, exit light, daytime running lights, depends on whatever you want to do there. You have your favorites, your calendar, your news, your messages, and things of that nature. So there's a plethora of information here. Like I said, they make it super easy and intuitive to, to kind of sift through. Very simplistic there. And coming down here, this is the majority of the HVAC controls. Um, you got your heated and cooled seats. You got your sink. Hit these three dots here. And then you have the controls for the rear as well. Makes it super easy. AC is blown nice and cool. You do have your automatic off for your engine or your downhill cruise control. You have automatic parking assist there as well. If you need help with parking, they you just hit that button there. Your home garage home link system wiper blades and of course you can turn off the display there if you need you do have your different audi drive selects they're world renowned you have your different settings there dynamic auto comfort all road and off road of course hit this button here get your different parking views oh. your 3d get that 3d view right there makes it really really easy to park and make sure you don't hit any curbs or any other fender benders or whatnot in your control radio controls here you can toggle through volume and then left and right 
Um, you do have your driving assistance there. You can kind of sift through whatever driving assistance you want to choose there. Of course, your easy parking button there. Hit reverse. Of course, you have your cameras back there and 360 camera. Got your drive mode, sport mode, plus and minus. Of course, you can use your paddle shifter there. Electronic parking brake, wireless charger there, and a few different uh, charging ports. Up above, you do have your sunroof controls with your shade, and of course, the whole panoramic sunroof itself there as well. And of course, your interior light controls as well. A lot of features on this Audi. Let's go and hop in the second row. What they like about these Q7s, they make the doors really large, very easy to enter and exit. You do have tinted windows and your sunshade there. Protect the little ones if you got little ones back there. You got three seat belts here and then two in the very back row. Then here you do have your, let me go and actually start it up and I'll show you. If you've got kids or back seat, occupants these are going to be one of their favorite features here you have your different controls so if you've got somebody who's hot on one side or cold on the other you can toggle through here you can put it low on this side high on this side change the temperatures change where the air is coming from um, and also turn everything off and you can also control it from the front as well if you need and of course your heated seats back here as well make it super intuitive Pretty much thought of everything on these things. Big panoramic sunroof. And here, to just hop in the back, you do have your two seats back there as well. And then here, you can hit these two buttons and they drop down automatically. You have these buttons here on both sides and also in the trunk as well. Makes it very easy to use. We'll go ahead and hop in the back. It does have an automatic lift gate. Hit that button like so. Even with the, the rear seats up, you still have plenty of space back here. You got your spare tire kit and everything down there, or your emergency kit. You do have your air suspension. You can lower it down. As you can see, the vehicle's dropping down. And then if you want to hit these two buttons to fold these down, if you need extra trunk space, you can do so just like that. And now you got plenty of space. And of course, you can fold those down as well have ample storage back there really nice setup here I'm gonna cut it off we're gonna take a look at the engine bay here or just 22 inch wheels do this with one hand there we go and there is your Audi Q7 power plant everything looks good there guys Give you one last view of it. If you guys like more information on this Q7, head over to our website at tjchapmanauto.com. We do post all of our HD pictures as well as this video, along with more information about our dealership. Uh, we do ship nationwide. If you guys have any questions on that, we've been helping our customers buy sight unseen for years, and we specialize in that, and we like to be transparent as much as we can. Feel free to reach out to us at 801-456. 9710. Thank you so much for checking out this Audi Q7 from TJ Chapman Auto.